Let's go with one of the specials, Terry McLaurin and DK Metcalf combining, not just solo, combining for 139 and a half receiving yards. I like one of them to go over. We've mentioned all segment how these pass defenses are not very good. Everyone knows that DK Metcalf is good. Everybody knows that Terry McLaurin is good, and he's the main target on that offense. And you just look specifically at what these pass defenses do. They're towards the bottom of the league in, in passing yards, in air yards, in yards after the catch, in depth of target. This They may not give up a bunch of points. They will, but they'll definitely give up a ton of yards to these two receivers. Kenny, what do we think? I actually really like going to the player parlays as well because I, I like Terry McLaurin to have 125 yards and a tight end, a touchdown scored rather at plus 100. But if I got to give a side or a total play, I really like the over 47 and a half. I just don't understand how both of these defenses stop the opposing offense. Uh, we talked about the struggles of the Seattle secondary, Washington without Montez Sweat now, uh, as well as Chase Young. I think that both of these offenses have a big net. We see a shootout here on Monday Night Football. Jeff, your absolute favorite bet tonight. I like going over on Russell Wilson's uh, passing touchdowns prop, uh, over 1.5 passing touchdowns for Russ. It's minus 135, but again, you, you've got the the Washington football team here. They've given up 24 passing touchdowns, the second most in, in the league. And look, I mean, it's Russell Wilson. Combine them with the, the Seahawks money line here. we got Russell Wilson versus Taylor Heineke, folks. Just, just take Russ. I, I like a big bounce back game for him.